Hello, welcome to Anselm Griffin's Vocational Series in YouTube Tutorials. Today we're doing a MATLAB tutorial using nested for next loops. So, just to say at the beginning, nested for next loops in MATLAB are almost redundant, and certainly in pure MATLAB circles, they'd be frowned upon because there's always a, a better way, a simpler way, but in many computer science courses, nested for loops are part of the syllabus. So we're just going to do one or two here. So we're going to do a multi 12 times multiplication table. And I've zoomed in there and we can see there's an inner loop and an outer loop. So the outer loop, the I component, and the J just there is the inner component. So we're going to do one by one, one by two, one by three, one by 12. So I there, that's the outer loop. So the first element of I is going to be one, and then inside J is going to go from one to 12. So I want to get one by one, one by two, one by three, one by 10, one by 11, one by 12. Then that line is going to execute the slash end, that winds onto the next line. And then the second element of the for loop is going to execute. So I will be two. We're going to do two by one, two by two, two by eleven, two by twelve, and we'll get the second row and so on. And we'll get the twelve times tables. And in the second one, we're just going to get this little tree effect here. So just to run over that again. So the slash n will give me four new lines. So we're just going to skip a few lines from the output. And we want to get this pattern here. So we're going to do one star. Then we're going to do two stars. Then we're going to do three stars, etc. So I only did five stars because you get the hang of it. So on the outer loop, the first element of i is one. And then J is going to go from one to one on the first case, because remember, I is one on the first one. So we're going to print that one time. That's there. Slash N will get us onto the next line. J is two now. So J is going to go from one to two. So we're going to go around the inner loop twice. So we're going to print out two stars. The slash N is going to execute. We go back to here. I is three, and then we're going to go around again three times, etc. Okay, so that's short and simple, and hope that helps a little. And thanks very much for.